he has runs. Kiermaier sends a ball into right center field. That's trouble. And that one's off the base of the wall. Diaz coming around to score. Kiermaier to third. The Rays have taken the lead. They're saying that's going to be a double. That was a horrible break and the run was going. I was just saying that the runner going allows them to score on a double. I think they might. They're going to take the, a look. At that the, hit the top of the wall and go over. They're not only going to look at that. Isn't it umpire's discretion as to where to place the base runner. This ball hits. Wow that was a ton of spin. It hits before the wall. Down and hits the minute. right Wait. fielder and goes over the wall. So it's an unbelievable break. It's being discussed now with Kevin Cash the fact uh -uh. that it hit Renfro and bounced over the wall. All right, here we go. And they're saying it's a double. Are they going to put Diaz back on base? That is an amazing That's, break. They are. Incredible break. That's. Amazing. Through all that, a scoreless inning posted by Profeta and a still 4 4 ball game. 1 1. And this in the air out to right field. Adele was in, angling back. He gets there. Whoa! And he just put it right over the fence. Like a setter in volleyball, <laughs> he just pushed it right over. And Solak will take the home run, his first of the year. It's six to two. Well, you we saw Nick the last time up when he hit the double, 410 feet to left center field. Kind of reached for it and almost hit it one-handed. I've seen balls go off heads, Jose Canseco, off gloves. But generally, when it happens, the glove is up near the top of the wall and right close to the wall. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna interrupt this video to tell you about Canna Dips. Canna Dips is a great tasting alternative to traditional dip without the tobacco and nicotine. Instead, it uses CBD and has tons of flavor. Canna Dip CBD is a new evolution in dip, allowing you to enjoy great, long-lasting taste without all the downsides. The Canna Dips team wants to send you and a plus one to this year's baseball all-star game in sunny Los Angeles, California. Watch the best of the best as you pop in some pouches in the warm California sunshine. The winning prize includes two tickets to the game, hotel, and airfare. You'll also get to party with the squad. They have all your bases covered. Link for the giveaway is available in the description for the video. On top of that, the legendary flavor Blue Dream is back in the mix and available right now. Make sure you use code EXE for 20% off your next purchase at CanadipsCBD.com. As the club lead. Time called and Soto is on the move and left. Oh, one of the people fell out of the stands. Oh, who is it? Who could it be? Who could it be? Hope they're okay. I think he's all right. He's okay. Yeah. Tough. Oh, they gave him a better seat. I believe that's about 43 fastballs. Just 53 pitches, oh. and this one is launched. Josh Bell, ring your bell with a bomb. I mean, he drove that one out for his fourth. He certainly didn't miss that one. And the Pirates regain the lead. It's 3-1. You talk about being on time with the fastball. A towering shot. Almost 110 miles per hour. It's total at 93. Yeah, thinking along with Dusty, this is probably the last batter. Josh James now joins Brooks Raley in the pen. Oh my. Everybody knows what sign they're going with now. <laughs> this is incredible. He, just, he, he told everybody what signs they're going with. 
I mean, how does Brandon Crawford not hear that? I, uh, <laughs> I love that. It works. <laughs> it pops him up. Who wants it? Josh Reddick calls off everybody in Phoenix, and he went seven and eight innings respectively without allowing a run. <laughs> He's talking to Maldonado. He threw that last pitch, and he called out to Martin. I didn't know if he wanted that inside or outside. How does he not know? Got to clear that up. <laughs> so Martin's obviously not necessarily setting up where he wants the pitch to be. That one looked good. Matches from Supermo shows you how that ball moves down and away from that left-handed hitter. Beautifully done. And that one he found the right location on. On the ground right side to Cronenworth to second for one on to first. It'll be not in time off the glove of Hosmer. Wow. Did that? Let's check this out. Oh, very. Did that go through his webbing? It may have. Looked like it hit him in the knee, maybe. Wow. He's not doing anything as far as going back to the dugout, so the right. lace must not be broken, but the, the holes in the webbing big enough to where the ball snuck through. Oh, what? And this is back up the middle. Diving stop. McMahon is not going to have a play on Tatis. He runs too well. That's a great job by Ryan to get to that baseball. So Tatis with a single. Fourth hit for the Padres. Hit right back up the middle and skipping off the grass and then the dirt mag wisely oh drew look at what happened remember we were just talking about this look on the subaru supermo that ball was in the webbing of mac and so when he went to grab it he couldn't do it we've seen some already two glove plays tonight that we haven't seen i can't remember the last time i've seen even one there's something wrong with jacob Wagaspack. he's walking off the mound of the dugout boy he had a long time to warm up and he threw a couple warm up pitches and then walked off the mound. And this is really strange. That might be oh, an issue about the roster, you know? And Brian Snitker's coming out. Mark Wegner is the crew chief of this umpiring crew. And Wagaspack didn't appear to be hurt. And Pete Walker didn't go to him as if to say, What's wrong? You know, this is really interesting, and I'll tell you why it's interesting. Dolis is going to be into the game. Wags Pack is saying, hey, I'm out of this game. Yeah. It, it looks like he was told by the umpire, yeah. you're not on the lineup card. And if you're not on the lineup card, you can't pitch. Hey. Two and one. Uh -oh. Oh, heading man. down. Heading down. has gone down. That's not good. I think I've ever seen that before. Well, it's never happened before. Not during a game. Andy, get out of there, Andy. He's caught in Spider Man's web. <laughs> uh, they're calling everyone off the field to fix it. Yeah, they're going to have to. I mean, fortunately, uh, everybody's okay because it was just the netting that came down. I don't know how you even fix something like that. I don't know where it detached originally. Yeah, Mr. Architect, get down there and fix this. That'll really top off that story. We got groundskeepers. We got operations folks. I mean, we have everybody that are putting their hand on this. We got positive reinforcement. Well, no, I, I, see, I would think that he, he is, he is the, he would be the Boy Scout. I think he's uh -oh. got. Oh my gosh, that is a stuff. Hey, Kevin from Aramark is there. I mean, this is unbelievable. Nice job, guys. Nice job. I told you, Book Holder's going to make a nod if anybody's going to make a nod. One one. Broken bat, ground ball. Bobble throw the first just uh, throw the second just in time, and on the first it's a double play. What was Urshela doing? I think he actually got splinters from the bat in his eye. This bat was absolutely shattered. Incredibly unfortunate. Certainly not a double play ground ball. He hit it so softly, but you can see he's in pain right there and does start to jog to first base, but he doesn't know where the ball is.
vets. Yes, I bowl 300 games and I can juggle with a bat and a ball. Reminds me of the story of his uh, time at the University of Tennessee camp when he was 10 years old and he kept hitting pitch after pitch that bounced. A high fly ball out to right. And Renfro's there for it. Big arm, so Margo wisely holds at second base. Did you guys see what Kike Hernandez just did on that fly ball to right field? I've never seen an infielder do that. Alex, he, he actually tried to leap and block Margot's view of Renfro as he caught the ball to time his departure from second base. I didn't catch that. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that may, may have worked. First pitch to Mike Zanino is taken for a strike. Let's see if we can find it on the replay here. <laughs> was, it, was he trying to deep the throw or was he really just trying to obstruct the view? Yeah, the latter. Two on and two out. A run is home. Sally keeps it in front. Balk. Good, good Jonas saying he never came to a complete stop, possibly. I'm not sure what that signal is with the mask in the left hand. Something to do with the mask? Dave Kapler would like an explanation as well. Let's take another look here. That was too late to be a balk call. There's the mask right over the oh, top of the ball. Can't do that. And so right away, Guccione signals and moves the runners up. Well, you almost never see that. No. I mean, that's one of the cardinal rules of catching. You can't use any of your equipment other than your mid or your bare hand to. And grab the baseball. Dave Kapler has zero case right here. Yeah. None. Been at least seven innings. Although 77 pitches through four tonight as he gets a check swing from Altuve and a foul ball. Altuve one for two lined out. Oh no. Doing damage. Oh that's expensive. That's expensive right, right into your living room. Oh boy. Hey. Muncie pointing at something that he feels like something is in his eye, whether it's a fan or the lights. But it just happened because it didn't happen in the first two strikes. And now Bill Welke, the crew chief, coming down to talk to the home plate umpire Chris Conroy to see what's up. Hopefully, there's not someone flashing something that would. See that Ooh, green yeah, it's like, light? It's like a laser pointer. Laser pointer coming yeah. across. Yep. Come on. There's no call for that. Jeez. That's a great shot, guys. That's just awful. It can't happen. 100 miles an hour pitches, and you brought a laser pointer. Are you kidding me? Embarrassing your family tonight. Time called very late. Oh, are you serious? Was called. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I mean, you talk about something that you will never see again. And strike three called. A double strike three called. In fact, Angel rung him up twice. I mean, Odor's got to be massively frustrated after his own mistake, as it turned out to be. Then it's oh, oh here, we, here go we go again. again. Yeah. Yep. Funny how the human mind does not let us escape our what? recent failures. What just happened there? <laughs> that was a little bloop. Had you tried to throw the ball back? Let's see. And boink. Oh. Ouch. Hello. Dylan Carlson with a drive into deep left field. Offered back off his glove into the seats. And a two run homer. Dylan Carlson with home run. Number 13. I think Dylan thought that this was caught, and so did Alford looking into his glove. And he's like, okay, is it caught? Ah, shoot. Heading back to the dugout. Wait a minute. It's a home run. <laughs> Just kidding. To end that threat. 
And Pilar hits one back toward the middle. Sosa to his left. Nice play. Spin around him, but he throws it away. Hits the all. Oh. He hit the first base umpire. Je uh, oh, no. Junior Valentine right in the side of the face. And the trainer is going to come out to have a look. Sosa threw that ball so wildly after he did the spin. It was a good 15 feet wide of the bag, right where Valentine was standing, and it mm. got him right there. Wow. I don't know about you, Keith, but I have never seen that. Uh, I have never seen that. He's stand. He's look. Yep. He looks uh, has, like he has clarity. Stop good, the bleeding. Good for him. He's going to have a big walnut there tomorrow. That's for oh, sure. Yeah. What are they doing here? Uh, Tim Timmons is signaling to the tarp. I think the folks, the grounds crew members behind the tarp. I think the tarp is a little bit angled out from the wall. And the grounds crew is being sent back into the grounds crew area. They're being kicked off the field. Why is that? I've never seen that. Is that because, I mean, is it getting a little bit cooler? I mean, usually when they come out, it's because rain is imminent. <laughs> Time is called. There goes Alexander up into the crowd. That's a good one. You don't got to see that very that often, do you? You see foul balls, but not pitched balls into the stands. Well, it's been happening time to time guys try and stop stop their arm that deceleration with that ball in there. Runner goes again and that one off the plate the throw goes back <laughs> to the middle of the diamond and O'Day intercepted it and that was awesome. I mean that's really that's it it was just kind of awesome. <laughs> Maybe O'Day was thrown off because this throw came from the knees of Contreras and never knew that the runner went there's some frustration there in the face of O'Day. The launch angle on Seegers was 39 degrees. The launch angle on Trouts was 23 degrees. If I understand what just happened, an intentional walk granted to Seeger with the bases loaded. That is Barry Bonds treatment. Are you sure that I wasn't watching? Yeah. Joe came out. Talked to his pitcher, pointed to first, and Seeger granted first base an intentional walk with the bases loaded brings in a run. It's four to two. The base is still loaded now for Mitch Garver. That is amazing. I mean, I've I seen some really stuff before. To say. I, I'm shocked. One thing, one thing with a little bit of a lead and Barry Bonds at bat. Are you sure that's what happened? I think that's exactly what happened. Wow. Yeah, they, I, I, I'm sorry I can't help you because I looked down at my scorecard and didn't even see it. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't have predicted it either. So I wasn't in, I wasn't quite ready for it. Well, that. I'll put it to you this way. I just watched it. And I'm not sure I, I believe it. 